Well, it's not pleasant to think about, but officials say human trafficking is happening in every state in the nation, including Indiana. And today, Indiana lawmakers signaling their strong support for victims as a bill aimed at helping those victims sales forward. Our State House Bureau Chief David Williams live in the newsroom now to explain. David? Well, some people call human trafficking modern day slavery. The National Human Trafficking Hotline says they got more than 160 phone calls in Indiana last year. It is so much of a problem. Indiana's Attorney General announced last month he's assigned more attorneys and investigators to the Human Trafficking Investigations Unit. Well, today, supporters of this bill tell me it's meant to make it easier for victims to come forward. 50. That's how many cases the National Human Trafficking Hotline says were reported last year in Indiana. It's in all 92 counties. 50. That's how many cases the National Human Trafficking Hotline says were reported last year in Indiana. It's in all 92 counties. It is, it is a lot bigger problem than I ever could have thought. That's why State Rep Karen Engelman introduced a bill that would repeal the requirement health care workers report suspected adult human trafficking victims to police. Engelman says the requirement can stop adult victims from getting the necessary treatment because they're afraid of being turned in to police. And if that person got wind that they had shared about their situation or shared about any information about their trafficker, um, that could result in something even as serious as death. I mean, depending on the type of trafficking we're talking about. The bill, which passed committee today, 7 yes, 0 no, would instead require health professionals to offer suspected victims resources to get help. Like the human trafficking hotline, and they can give people information about places they can go, people that can help them. Kate Kimmer with the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault says this bill's language actually clarifies a 2017 law that says all suspected victims must be reported. She says this would make it so only minors would have to be reported. So now we're here correcting that. Supporters say the bill, which overwhelmingly passed the House in late January, sends a strong message to human trafficking victims. We hear you, we see you, we respect you, and we're, we're here when you're ready. So that bill now continues through the Senate. By the way, if you or someone you know might be the victim of human trafficking, call the National Human Trafficking Hotline. That number is on your screen right now. It is 1-888-373-7888. I'm David Williams, live in the newsroom, 24-hour news 8. David, thank you very much, sir.